Hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Land. Right, we are into November and the good old barley is ready. The wheat is looking good. Uh, what have I done since the last episode? Okay, so I splashed out some cash. I've got myself another tractor. And I bought myself the pallet autoload trailer. Lovely pink colors. Uh, what else have I done? Also, over at the open garden, I've put in some pallet pushers. Uh, that way it's easier for me to pick up the pallets when they are out the back end. What else have I done? What else have I done? Oh, and I've, uh, I've leased the harvester again so we can get this barley field done. And if you look in the distance, you'll actually see that work has begun on putting the town in. So that's going to be interesting to see. We have got the grass to mow at the top, but first what we're going to do is go and attach to the bale trailer because I did the grass up by the holiday area so that's all done and I also mowed the grass area here as well so there's bales to pick up there too so we're going to go up to the holiday area and we're going to pick up those bales get them into storage get in ready to turn into silage and then we'll do go over to the other grass area by the cow barn and we will do a headland on that and let the worker get on with it oh i also splashed out on a uh, new new mower as well a slightly bigger mower so i'm happy with that so how is everybody doing today hope you are all doing really well income has been pretty good so far uh, oh I don't know if you might have noticed but I also I'm, I'm just remembering things as I'm going along here I managed to get uh, two seconds uh, the windmill grain mill so we can actually produce flour so that will be more income for us that will supply the supermarket as well a lot of the products that i have will be supplying the supermarket so yeah a lot of a lot's been a lot's been happening since uh, the last episode making headway especially with the town getting started so that's pretty exciting I was going to put fields in here but I've decided not to I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment because I was toying with the idea I think I mentioned in the last episode of putting productions up here as well so I think we're going to stick with that. How that bale ended up on that rock, I do not know. But you'll get to see my, my new tractor. It's a nice, nice little tractor, actually. It's part of... It was a singular tractor. And then an update came out and turned it from one singular small tractor into the small, medium and large tractors. So there's one in each category. Same tractor, but just more powerful in each category. 
We'll also get the barley started as well because I'd like to get that into the silo as well. I would like to try and stick to doing oats for the flour or oat, make oat flour. It's going to take in the most income. I can't remember exactly. If we go into the production, it should be probably right down at the bottom. But I'll get more produce from all this once I get the manure coming through a lot. So we can do barley flour. Um, the only downside is we put 30 in, we only get 23 back. The oat flour, we put on 15 and get 19 back, which seems a, a bit better. I'm not going to be doing pigs, so I'm not going to be getting pig food out of this. I don't want to be doing that. So realistically, oats, uh, maybe expand that wheat field, expand the, uh, I forgot what's in the field now. It's not wheat. Oh, canola. Expand that canola field over to the left and turn that into one massive oat field. I've got oats in here, in this field anyway. So, oh, that's just full. I've got oats in, in here anyway, so that's a good start for us. But there's the, the windmill. Once the it starts producing flour, people can come and have a look and uh, see how the flour is produced. plenty of strawberries and tomatoes but I think that's all I really splashed out on I really can't think of anything else I was going to go for the new Flegel trailer I had an update so I was planning to use that bales oh dear what am I doing no 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 uh, <laughs> no stop oh no oh no what's going on there uh, well that is interesting that is very interesting. Uh oh. And it's going to stop soon. Is it going to stop? Can I hook up? Yeah, I can't. Can I get it out? Yeah, I can't. Dash it all. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> that was hilarious. That was really hilarious. Why on earth did I do that? Right. Let's just. <laughs> Let's just unload this here. Just, just, just drop it. Just drop. Just leave it. Run away. Run away. Knock it over. Right. Let's go get this last two bales. Wow. I didn't know what was going to happen with that trailer there. I thought it was going to. I didn't know if it was going to shoot through the roof or shoot out of the map or what. I think I would have been really disastrous if that shot out the map. Right. Unload this two bales here. Just drop them there, that'll do. Right, perfect. So we'll get, I think we'll get the barley started. Now I am using the oh, the tool height for harvesters, so this will get the work done a bit quicker. Not too unrealistically quicker, but 12 miles an hour is fast enough, I think. And I could get that swath build up as well. 
That'll go towards the cows. So I did have, I think I had just over 200,000 in the bank. Now I'm down to 66. So I, as you can see, I have been, I've not been too bad in the spending. Most of the spending, I think, was done on starting the town. So, but we'll have a, a quick look to see what's going on so far. And we can get a headland done on here, and hopefully, we can just throw the worker on. I've not been having too much trouble with the workers, they, they have been pretty good. Just a bit more awkward for them when I've got the trees and that in the middles, uh, in the fields, so you know. So, right, what I'll do is finish that bit there, and I'll go round the round the tree area, and then we'll set the worker off from the left there get working his way down. It's a good job I have crop destruction off because I completely forgot about it. And then once we've got this part done and set the worker off, we'll go up to the Actually, we won't. We'll go over to the town area and we'll have a look and see what's what's what over there. Oh, I should have turned it off. Oh, that's not going to matter too much. I forgot that the tool height for the harvesters actually harvests even with the header up. worker's probably going to miss a couple of bits here. Right. I'm going to need that trailer up at the cow barn, so, but we'll go over and have a look at the town. No, the town. The start of the town. The first of the couple of houses going in, so. But we can't actually really access it because they have blocked off the entrance, so we can't get in with a tractor, but we can we can walk through. So yeah, we've got a nice pavement here. Street lights, a couple of nice houses. Just keeping it plain and simple, not going over the top. And then we've got a roadway here that goes down into the car parking area. So there's going to be another I think another two of these houses on this side and then I'm going to be putting something on the other side of that and then behind that or in between we could probably put maybe a, a small play park in there there are gates on these that open up into the back gardens I was thinking maybe along here somewhere to put like a, a, a crossing that goes across this side and then over here we could probably have like a, a small play park or something across the road here someone uh, suggested that I build like small small villages like just small a few houses here and there on different plots up and around so that, that could be an interesting concept. I need to get a town hall put in as well. I have got an idea for the town hall, so that would be interesting once you guys see that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of maybe going for that idea, maybe put a couple more houses in here, maybe some houses on this side. And maybe, I don't know, like a small shop or something like that anyway but we'll see how we get on with the finances 
on what we can get done. And then we could probably do that idea with the, the town. Now, I didn't realize, I forgot that I've actually got a small part of land here as well, which I could also utilize. It's not the biggest part of the land, but it's actually widens out at the top here and it goes all the way down. So, yeah, we could probably do something in there. We just have to have a, a look. How's that worker doing? Right. Perfect. Right, I'm going to go up to the cow barn and I shall see you guys when I get up there. Right, welcome back, everybody. We're just having a quick look here what we've got. So we've got 7,000 litres of slurry. Or nearly 8,000 litres of slurry. And 4,700 litres of milk. What is milk selling for in this? Where are we here, milk? So it's selling at the farm shop. Quite surprising, actually. I thought the supermarket would be actually buying that. Hmm. So the supermarket buys eggs at 4,099 per thousand litres. How much eggs have I got? I've got a few down at the, the yard. And then I've got these ones over here. I think... I don't think they're full pallets yet. But I'm going to be sticking with this two coops at the moment, and then I'm going to get the big one put in its place. So we've got... 792 pieces there. Oh, it should be the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Right. Oh, he's full. Oh, dear. Right, let's go and get a trailer. That's quite a lot out of that. Get him emptied, and then we'll get back up to the cow barn. Did a headland, pass around the trees, and he's done one and three quarter of a pass. Wow, okay. There we go. Right, we'll leave him to do that. Turn that tractor off. Right, so we have got straw bales there, but I think we were, we're okay for everything at the moment. I've left the trailer in there, it's still got some grass left, or hay, should I say, left in it. What have we got in here? 405,000 litres of hay. I think we're going to be okay, because I've uh, still got this to do yet, which we're going to do. And here is, oh, and here's my new tractor. It's the, uh, the lizard tractor. That one, you can actually locate in here, in small tractors, which I've gone flying past. There it is. And then we have it in the medium tractors, which is there. And that goes up to 246 horsepower. And then you've got the big one, which is goes up to about 400 knot. 415 horsepower. So, I will probably get the headland started on the grass here. Get this guy going. Has that been lowered? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Then we'll get back more on. And I'm putting it into swath as well, so... Putting it into swath, that way it's uh, a lot easier to pick up. And with that quick bail, it 
it'll pick up anything. Quite a, it's got quite a big pickup area, which is quite nice. The only thing I find with these mowers is you can't turn too tight, otherwise it does miss bits. Which is a, a pain in the backside, but <coughs> excuse me, what more can you do? Right, I will get this all done and dusted, and I shall nip back with you guys in just a moment. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, left the farmhand doing the grass field at the stables so oh i've missed that bit there uh, we're gonna get start getting this bailed up that way i've got some extra straw for the the cows and then once we've got the bales from here up to the the cows we should be able to start doing the bales for the uh, grass dryer, we can get them in. And then I'll be thinking about hopefully getting some of the crates and that sold from the garden or the open garden. Hopefully, get some. Some extra cash from that, we can get some more of the, the town done as well. So I'd like to think long and hard about how I'm going to do the town. Uh, because as I say, the suggestion was to do like small villages, which is a great idea. As long as I'm able to put some houses, um, maybe put uh, a convenience store in there and maybe a play area for children like a play park so it'll be just could be just small small villages I put dotted about and maybe a production uh, or a couple of productions in each area as well which would be quite quite good thinking of doing the rental property as well to try and get some extra income as I was saying before I don't want to use the ones that will give me a vast amount of money it's supposed to be kind of a challenge as well so I mean I could use I could potentially put one down and that way it kind of incorporates the whole village together for rental property be a good idea i suppose the only thing with the rental properties is they don't really go with the flow of what i've done with the houses they're more modernized types of cabins so i don't know how I could get that to work, but I'm sure I'll think of a way. But we are pretty much up and running now. We're we're pretty much uh, full steam ahead now, so we've got quite a few bits going on. There's plenty to keep us going for the moment, anyway. Hopefully it uh, it continues. Not too much left to pick up now. It's a lot easier with this baler. 
it has a, a, a more wider pickup area, which is good. Makes it a bit quicker and a bit easier. And then I'll get that that last bit harvested as well. So we'll get this pit picked up and then we'll jump into the harvester and we'll harvest that uh, last piece that was missed. fired up and going. It's not going to give us too much of a straw swath, but it'll give us something to pick up at least. Okay, we can go park this guy back up. And then we'll get back into picking up the last of that swath. Let's go pick this up. I am actually thinking now seriously about just starting to make uh, flour with anything that I get. I mean, that way it gets that ball rolling with that production side of things. Oops. Turn that off. Right, we'll head up to the grass field and we will <clears throat> excuse me we'll put this up up there see how the workers getting on shouldn't be too far off with this uh, the canola field 96 percent yield bonus I like that definitely be good once I get the oats harvested from that field that way I'm going to get a lot more flour out of it I'll try and remember what kind of flour I can do wheat oat I think I think barley flour is there right how did this worker get on I think he was done yeah, he was all done. Perfect. Right. I don't know if these bits will fit in the door. But we'll certainly try. I will have to put a road in. Oh, it just fits. Just fits in no more. I like that. Perfect. Drop that one there. No, fold it up. Drop that one there. Oh. Drop that one there. Perfect. And we can use the baler now and do the grass. Get this guy all parked up at the cow stables. Uh, park him in here somewhere. There we go. Perfect. Right. Let's go. Will it change? Yep. It's quite handy that it changes the straw into the, the it changes the grass into straw until it's actually done a f an extra full bill. I like that idea. At least that way you're not worrying about. I think before in FS19, 
the balers wouldn't allow you to pick up anything else because it, would, it already had a product in it. I can't remember if that's true. But I, I'm sure there was something it wouldn't allow you to do if it had a product in it already. Oh, we missed that bit. I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> We've got a lot to do uh, with preparation of these fields as well now. We'll have to lime them all again. So, yeah, we're going to be very, very busy. Which I think is a better way to do things because that way we're not... We're getting the best yield out of everything as well. If we do it that way. We can get this all bailed up and then we can get all the field work done after the bales have been picked up. A couple of patches missed, but nothing nothing to be worried about. But I'll definitely have to pick up that straw bales and then come and pick up that one. Which is handy that it's up here at the, the cow barn. ideas on that town area, see what we're going to do with that when the time comes to get more money. I'm thinking about once I get to a certain amount of money, then spending some of it on the town. But I'm thinking I would need to be about 100,000 at a time, I would say. So realistically, I'd need to be at 200,000 to spend 100,000 on the town, and it wouldn't take long to spend that money. Once you start doing all landscaping and everything else, you know, it won't take long at all. It's quite handy that the grass dryer will still accept uh, the bales, even though they're wrapped up for silage bales, I think it's still a, a good thing. Yeah, I'm thinking definitely have a look at the the productions uh, it's probably going to take me a while to get there, but we're going to go down to the windmill and see again what flower we can do, and that way we can actually get it started. So yeah, wheat, barley, oat, and sorghum, and corn flour as well, right, okay, sweet. That's sweet. Okay, so barley, I can get barley started. Right, okay. Be quite handy if the AI would actually do this as well. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to be happening, I'm afraid. So what I need to do is grab my tractor, grab the trailer, grab some of that, the barley, and then dump it into the windmill, which I'll probably do just now because this grass is not going anywhere. So neither is my barley, but I'm wanting it. I'm wanting it to go somewhere into the the windmill. So I could probably just do that, and that would get that out of the way. But I don't think we're going to be running short on hay anytime soon. Not by the looks of things. Not by the looks of what's in it. We were at, what was it? We, we were at 400,000. Let's turn this off a minute. Yeah, 406,000. And we're still going. Right, we're going to actually take this. 
and we're going to go and put the barley into the we're going to put some barley in the the windmill start making flour right So I'm, I might decorate a bit more on the area with the open air gardens, but I'm quite happy with doing the grass around it as it is, so I might just leave it just now. I might change my mind later, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, have I got my... Is my trailer down here? Yeah, it's over there, right. Okay. Let's jump into this bad boy. We'll get you filled up with barley. There's 20,000. I thought it was 24,000 I had off of that. I was obviously wrong. Right, 15,000 litres going into the windmill. Maybe turn all this into asphalt and concrete to break it up away from everything now. Seem to be running through it, around the back end of the, the back end of everything. Now, oh, wrong way. That's the uh, pallet unloading point. We don't want to be dumping it there. Right. Dump it in. There we go. Barley flour. So. Pfft. Still counting up. Okay. 15,000 litres. There we go. Perfect. So, barley flour. We are going to be storing that. Excellent. Right, I think I'll get the rest of this work done off camera. Get these bales and that picked up and then get the field work started. So yeah, I'll leave it here for just now, guys. So if you enjoyed what you've seen in the video, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And please share with your friends and family. And, uh, yeah, so, I hope you all have a very wonderful day, and until next time, bye for now.